My first look at the latest from Elementary OS 5.0, codenamed Juno Beta 2, from a Windows user, coming right up. All right, let's see what we have. We do have a dock here at the bottom. Multitask. Again, I'll go through this real quick here. Uh, the Epiphany web browser. Um, this is okay. This would not be my first choice for a web browser. Uh, the Mail client. All right, I prefer uh, Thunderbird. Uh, calendar. Nice. Uh, let's move along. We have music. All right. Uh, if this reminds you of uh, something from Apple, I think it's meant to look somewhat familiar. Uh, I don't have an Apple computer, and you know that's there's there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, personally, here's the photo application. Personally, as far as the looks of this, I think it looks great. It looks clean. Uh, it looks polished. Uh, I like the use of default colors and fonts. Very pleasing to the eyes. These are the system settings here. Uh, let's take a brief look at notifications, app center, bubbles, sounds, notification center. You can toggle this on and off. Um, or simply do not disturb. Elementary OS is in do not disturb mode. And you can toggle each application here. Uh, if I right click I can close this. Again I can expand this, minimize, or just close. The App Center. Uh, the App Center, the default App Center, is definitely clean. Right clicking on the desktop doesn't do anything. That's one of the things, uh, for me at least, has to be a standard feature. I'm a somewhat of a mouse centric kind of guy, at least half the time. So I, I would like to be able to right click on the desktop and change the wallpaper, go to terminal, and some other settings. All right, let's go ahead and go to the top here. Left clicking, all right, gives us the calendar and also right clicking, uh, date and time settings. All right, the top panel, the usual stuff here, user account settings, live session, guest session, notification, do not disturb. I'll just leave it like that. Network settings. You know, looking at looking at this from a uh, perspective of a newbie, there's really nothing here, I don't think, to confuse a beginner uh, to the world of Linux. Uh, this is not something I would use because I believe in the past trying to customize this thing might be rather rough. Uh, of course, a newbie probably would not be interested in customizations, just wanting something I would imagine to work out of the box. And this, I would suspect, with a full install, once it's finalized, it's still a beta, uh, this would probably work nicely out of the box. And uh, right-clicking on the top, again, does not do anything. Hitting the uh, super key brings you the keyboard shortcuts. I like this. Very user-friendly. All right, let's left-click here. You can search, for example, T-E-R. For terminal. Very nice. All right, we can go to zoom in and out. We'll just leave it at 100%. Right click and close. All right, let's go to this rather quickly. App Center, calculator, calendar, camera, code, epiphany. Uh, I would probably uh, install Chrome since I do live chats through the uh, Google chat the file manager. All right, do we have home? Again, I like the use of the default colors and fonts. Again, just, just, it's just a personal preference. Documents, of course, uh, I don't have anything installed here. So yeah, I think it looks fine. Uh, see, I, I would like a way to, I'm a right-handed type of, well, person. I would like to have the buttons if there was a way to the right versus on the left. Again, just personal preference. All right, let's move along. Uh, Gparted partition editor, install elementary. Kazam did not work. I installed this and I couldn't get it to work. Mail, multitask, music, photos, and screenshot. 
Next page, I was able to install Sipple's screen recorder through the terminal, the system settings, terminal, and videos. Um, honestly, that's it. Uh, it's clean, it's polished for a beta, at least from what I've seen. Uh, it's not really something I would use, uh, but of course I am no longer a newbie after you know, 12 years. However, uh, for somebody coming to the world of Linux and wanted to try something uh, good looking clean out of the box, again, I would wait until this gets finalized. If, if you don't want to wait and want to install this, I'd recommend getting a second a spare machine. Uh, ThinkPads work wonderfully uh, with Linux. I'll have an Amazon link below in the show notes if you're interested. But yeah, the, the best way to try really any Linux-based system uh, is with the spare machine. Um, I would get a spare machine with at least four gigs of RAM and you should be able to install any Linux. Uh, the four gigs of RAM should be enough. Alright, well that's all I have for this quick look at the latest from Elementary OS. I recommend at least give it a try. It looks wonderful. Uh, hopefully the uh, simple screen recorder will work. I'm going to end the video now and play this back and do some quick editing. But yes, I definitely recommend as a Windows user you at least take a look at the latest from Elementary OS 5.0 Juno Beta 2. Look sharp. I like it. That's it for this one. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.